For Hans Peterson, Wednesday, April 7th, 2010, began just like any other day. He said goodbye to his roommate and headed off to work as a junior solar installer. He didn't know it at the time, but he wouldn't come home that day. The California FACE program investigates workplace deaths and develops recommendations to prevent future deaths. We made this video to honor Hans's memory and to help prevent tragedies like this from happening again. When we arrived at the scene to investigate his death, the work crew was upset but willing to describe what had happened. The employer was a solar installation company and we learned Hans had been working there for six months. This was the second day at the work site, where the crew planned to install solar panels on the roofs of several three-story buildings in an apartment complex. Hans, a co-worker, and the crew lead were up on the roof checking the alignment of mounting rails in preparation for the installation of solar panels. A pre-job hazard analysis had identified the high, sloped roof as a fall hazard, the employer had a written safety procedure that described the fall protection plan and held an on-site safety meeting the first day. At the meeting, the project manager told the crew that the safety plan called for them to use a personal fall restraint system on this job. However, at the time of the incident, none of the three-man crew was wearing personal fall protection equipment and there were no anchor points, guardrails, or safety nets in place. Hans was up on the roof checking the alignment of the mounting rails, walking backwards to possibly get a better look. His co-workers heard him say something, and then noticed he was no longer on the roof. Hans had stepped backwards off the edge of the roof and had fallen 45 feet to his death. How could this have been prevented? Employers should ensure that workers use approved personal fall arrest or personal fall restraint systems when working on roofs at height, that have a steep slope, or have other fall hazards. Hans fell from a roof that was 45 feet high and had a 37 degree slope. Use of a personal fall protection system, including temporary anchor points, guardrails, safety nets, scaffolding, or catch platforms could have prevented his death. To ensure safety procedures are followed and fall protection is worn, a trained, competent person should perform safety inspections of the job site to check that appropriate fall protection is available and being used. In addition, workers must be provided training in fall hazards and safe work practices, and the employer must keep records of the training and who was in attendance. The FACE program shares investigation findings and works together with employers and workers, so this won't happen again.